everybody, welcome back to Video Game Esoterica and our side series on technicality. Today we're going to be showing you how to read your arcade schematic so you're able to repair or replace parts on your boards. It is quite an in-depth topic and there are a lot of lines you have to follow. But we're going to break it down and make it really easy for you. So schematic in general is just going to be all the different wiring that's essential for the arcade board to run. And the journey is going to look exactly like this. The schematic here is for Hyper Neo Geo 64 motherboard. And it shows us all the different wires and exactly where they need to go. So as an example, when we did that shotgun repair for Evil Knight or Hell Knight, we looked in here and we saw that we had the shotgun pump switch, we had the trigger, and we had the optical sensor. And if we follow all those different lines back, it's going to show us exactly where on the gun PCB those wires are going to go. And you're also going to see that they are numbered as well. 9, 5, 4, 2, and then zeros. The zeros are going to be grounds, all the other ones are going to be signal leads, and it shows us on that board where they are. And then if we follow over to the plastic connector, we're going to see that 9, 2, 5, 4, and 0 appear again. And we know where those wires are coming. So when we look at the board here, it's not numbered, but the wire colors are on the schematic and they're also on the PCB. So we use that as a map to know where from that optical board we need to go into the actual arcade PCB itself. And like I said, everything is numbered, so it's really easy to follow. And that's kind of how you're going to read a schematic. It's going to be numerical and it's also going to have lines. So if we trace that connector all the way back, we follow this line down here. We're going to be in a connector that I don't have for the arcade PCB, but you can bypass these completely. All you need to do is make sure that the wire goes from the area in the schematic that you're working on over to the actual PCB itself. When you see me come down here, there's going to be CN 18, 19, and 20. CN stands for connectors, and that's going to show us exactly where all the guns go. And you're going to see that 4, 0, 9, 2, and 5 appear again. So we know exactly what pins are on that connector, and we need to know what pins go in. And that's where those numbers come from. So just looking down here, we have those numbers on both of the PCB inside the gun as well as the connectors, so we now know exactly where we need to go. Take a look at a different example. The Total Vice guns have a speaker inside of them to play gun sound effects, and we're going to see that that's on a different connector, and it's going to go to a different area of the PCB. And using the schematic, we know where our positive and where our ground wires are. So if you take a look here, we can trace that connector all the way back through. There's a secondary connector as well, and that's going to go into the sub PCB, and you're going to see it's for connector four, player two, and on top there, there's going to be for player one. So we know where both of those speaker wires need to go for that gun to be active. But you can bypass the connector in the middle. You just need to bring the wire from the gun to the PCB itself, and it will work. And that's kind of how these schematics are going to go. And up here, we're taking a look at a Tobey Polystars, and we're going to see we have mono audio, and that's going to come off the JAMA edge. And that's going to be pretty standard for all JAMA edges. You're going to get mono audio off them on those particular pins. But if we do want to get stereo audio, we're going to notice that if we follow those leads back, there's a separate connector on the PCB itself, and that's going to be what outputs stereo audio. So we know that if we need stereo audio in that left and right channel separation, where we need to bring those wires into. And the nice thing about these schematics is normally they are labeled. You're going to see that this is a four pin NH connector and that is made by the company JST. Look at your schematics and you're usually going to be getting data that's going to tell you exactly what connectors you need and it's going to show you exactly where those go. You got speaker left and right and plus and minus for the five volt and for the negative. Then over here, sometimes you don't actually have paper and you have to do it off an iPad, but this is a schematic for Beast Buster Second Nightmare, a board we converted in a previous video, and it shows you all the different guns, and it labels all the different functions for each individual wire, and then if you just follow those leads all the way up to the PCB box, it's normally going to be marked PCB box, you're going to see exactly where they need to go. Follow that and you're able to convert a board into a JAMA edge that normally didn't ship with one. And that's basically how you read schematics. Follow the lines, read the labels, and you are good to go. We definitely hope this worked out for you guys. Uh, it took a lot of time just to kind of photograph this. Sorry it's not the most visually interesting episode ever, but we hope it helps you out in rewiring your arcade gear. If you have any questions, leave them down below. But if you could do us a huge favor, hit like and subscribe. These videos all take a lot of time to make. Otherwise, we'll be back on Tuesday with another episode in our mainline series. But thanks so much for watching. We hope you have a great weekend. Bye-bye.